Hey everybody, it's Mark, and today I'm doing it, doing the top five free email clients. At number five comes Windows Live Mail. It's basically as basic as you get with with most of these email clients. It has spell check and you know spell checks and receive, you know all the basics, calendars, contacts, you know basics. So let's start with the interface. It has a ribbon interface, and many of people do not like it at all. But personally, I love ribbon because it to me, the older interfaces just look aged. It just makes it look you know newer. It has built-in compatibility with both Gmail and um, Hotmail, or now known as Windows Live Mail. And despite the fact that typical Hotmail user probably still uses a Pentium Free and still thinks Windows 2000 is brand new. So, setting up my Gmail was very, very easy. I just typed in my username. One second. Let's say blah, blah, blah at gmail.com. Password blah, 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 at whatever. Blah. Press next, it'll get. To receive my should enable my members account. And it was added. And yeah. So let's delete my account. Yes. Good. So go to Yeah. So so the interface is surprisingly refreshing and clean, so you know, it's pretty nice for you know like a standard browser that's included for your computer. Well it's included basically every one of them, I'm pretty sure they probably made some laws against it, but on the other hand, it does have a sucky spam filter. I fixed this for mine, but basically it filters anything like money, uh payment, etc. And if, and uh but it's kind of thing without an unauthorized contact. It took me a while to get everything sorted out, but so it might not have the top-notch features, but if you're like, but it'll it'll make it'll help you. Okay, it'll work. Sure, there's the other ones on this list that you could use, but if for like your mom and dad, etc., people who are not necessarily technically inclined, this could be probably the best. One you could probably get as it's simple to use, simple to set up, and simple just it looks simple. So and Spain filter might just save them from a couple of Canadian pharmacies and Nigerian princes, or maybe just that annoying nephew that keeps asking for money. And number four is Zimbra Desktop by Yahoo. The single largest of all the email clients in the list, coming in at just over 90 megs, it's quite feature-packed, but only for enterprise. For regular users, it's a bit over the top with enterprise features, Be like for features like, let's say, Microsoft Exchange. On the other hand, for the everyday user, it can be used for, let's say, uh, Yahoo Webmail Access. <laughs> That's an outstanding feature for the everyday user. So if you're a businessman or woman and typically need to use Microsoft Exchange, this is the email client for you. At number three comes Opera Mail. Built into the popular Opera web browser, it's not just convenient, but fast. Built right into the popular um, Opera web browser, you can surf the web while checking your email. It knew my Gmail, SMTP, and IMAP serves pretty much instantly when I put in my username to set it all up. And I add all my contacts as well. The interface is great and easy to use. And if you do not want the sidebar, you can easily just slide it like that. Flip the panel button in the corner. It has a standard email client fare of spell check, IMAP and pop support, etc., spam filter. But the convenience is what really makes this mail client shine. 
why not have an email client and a web browser if you can both have one as have both as one and number two is em client the full synchronization with gmail from calendar to context this will fill the need for a software version of gmail it can also sync up with webmail services like hotmail and yahoo mail and have built-in social features like google talk skype chat and, and facebook chat it should fill the need for a sociable email client for people who are always need to be in contact. The transition from Outlook 2007 to EM was very easy, but it did not recognize my Gmail at first and as such would not instantly um, add contacts and calendar sync. What kept it from being from number one was a complicated install procedure which required an activation code and several licenses. It's failure to recognize my Gmail email and sync up with the calendar and contact at first. And it, had, it can only use two email accounts at once. So you can only, you can't have like a, you can have a personal and business one for instance, but you can't have a personal business and let's say uh, another personal one like finance and stuff. You can have it up to maximum two without buying pro. At number one is Thunderbird, not just free, but open source. Unlike Zimbra, which is also open source, but is corporate oriented, Thunderbird's massive community provides endless add-ons and themes. So I can turn this to this. There's not a problem that can't be solved with an add-on. Mozilla's ISP database got the IMAP and SMTP over my Gmail rather quickly and gives you the choice between POP and IMAP at setup, a setup that most of our clients did not have. Its stability, community, and plugins combine to create one perfect Outlook killer. Thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and uh, and subscribe.